that didn't feel too good. Why? Because that's not how you should train your core. How's it going? I'm Seth Muncy, Disc Golf Strong, and in this video, I'm gonna talk about why you should stay away from those exercises if you want a healthy back, especially a healthy, strong back for disc golf. Make sure you subscribe to the Disc Golf Strong YouTube channel. We're gonna have a lot of videos about core training for disc golf amongst other training videos coming out in the future. So make sure you hit subscribe and also sign up for alerts. So the core muscles are not designed to bend you through the lower back, bend your lower back, or twist your lower back, okay? We should be able to do that, but that's not what they're designed to do. Now, when I was in high school, even when I was a brand new trainer over a decade ago, I had these exercises that I just showed you, sit-ups, crunches, Russian twists, or even flutter kicks, okay? I did those in my programs and for myself as well. But research since then from Dr. Stuart McGill, he's the leading researcher in spine health, okay, lower back health and, uh, and rehabilitation, has found that doing those movements, okay, so bending through our lower back, twisting through our lower back down here, that that increases the risk of, our, uh, uh, of getting an injury to those areas. And that the core muscles, that they're not designed to bend our lower back. We should be able to bend, we should be able to rotate, but not as an exercise and not under load. What our core muscles actually do, they engage tight to keep our lower back strong and stable so that when we're doing our movements like throwing a disc, we're not rotating through the lower back because the lower back, as I said, it doesn't like to rotate very much. But if those muscles don't engage like they should, then we're going to be rotating through our lower back. We're going to be bending through our lower back. We're going to be extending back through our lower back. That's why I stay away from those. Now, exercises that you want to start incorporating are things that keep you from bending, that keep you from rotating, that keep you nice and tight and engaged here. That's gonna help you not only in lowering your injury risk, but also improving your performance, okay? Now, I, like I said, you keep uh, an eye on the YouTube channel and you're gonna get a lot of exercises. Also, if you go to the Disc Golf Strong app on your phone, you can download the Disc Golf Strong app on there and there's a ton of core training exercises in there as well, okay? But I'm gonna show you one thing today to get started. Now, this is gonna be all about the breath. Okay, the breath, you think the, the breath core training, now there's gonna be deeper videos about this, but I'm just gonna to touch on it real quick. We have a big muscle here called the diaphragm. It's our breathing muscle, okay? When we breathe in and out, it comes up and down. Not, all, not only is it a breathing muscle, but it really plays a huge role in our core strength. It's an actual, it's a core muscle, okay? So when we breathe, we want that core muscle, that diaphragm to engage. So what we're gonna do here is I'm just gonna get into what we call a half kneeling position, okay? Just one knee on the ground. I'm gonna make sure my shoulders over my hip, my hips over my knee, my ribs are down. So my ribs are not flared up like this. I want my ribs kind of pulled down towards my pelvis here, okay? I'm just gonna get nice and tall, breathe in through my nose, and then breathe out like you're breathing through a straw and you're trying to get your breath to just go and blow a birthday candle out that's like 100 feet away from you, okay? Get all that air out. As you do that, you should feel your ab muscles here really engaging and bracing. We, we call it bracing, okay? So big inhale, again, I'll show it to you again. Big inhale, through the nose. Get all that air out, feel those abs engage, engage those abs as you do that. We're not doing this, we're not doing that, but that's where you need to start, okay? Because if we don't have control over our breath and those deep, deep core muscles, then it's really hard to have control over anything else. All right, stay tuned for other videos on core training for disc golf. I hope you enjoyed that. Have a great day and train disc golf strong, play disc golf strong.